Good morning, Spartans. Usually we do a football show, but there's no real football right now. True. So we found a way to cheat the system. That's right. We're going to talk about and make some Super Bowl food, as well as some Super Bowl stereotypes, and it's something at the end that doesn't make us look very, uh, you know, dumb. First, news. Plans are in the works to open up a new theme park based off of characters from Nintendo in Orlando, Florida by 2023. The theme park will be a part of Universal Orlando and will be a couple miles from the main theme park of the resort. This park is a small part of the large expansion that is said to double the size of the resort. The addition of this theme park is predicted to create upwards of 14,000 jobs. After the number of confirmed cases of the coronavirus rises by 65% and the number of confirmed deaths rises above 100, more than 60 million people have been placed under lockdown in the Hubei province. The virus has also spread to at least 17 places outside China, including the US, Australia, France, and Germany. Chinese medical officials are working to develop a vaccine for the virus, but experts believe that it would take over a year for the drug to be completed and to become commercially available. The Hong Kong government will also stop issuing individual travel permits for travelers from the mainland in an effort to contain the virus. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The ESM Percussion Ensemble is looking for an actor or actress to join them for the 2020 production called I Can't Change. If you have a bit of acting experience or desire and would like to join the two-time defending New York State Open Class Champions, please see any percussion ensemble member in the high school band room. Yogi's of ESM is taking a short break to reset and recharge. Look for us on Thursday, February 27th, same time, same place, after school in the library. See Ms. Fulner or Ms. Welch if, with any questions. Uh, thank you and namaste. The Madden 20 touchdown tourney begins today after fourth block in the library. All students are welcome to come down and cheer on their favorite student and teacher teams. Spectators and players are encouraged to wear their favorite football t-shirts or jersey this week. All right. So we're going to talk about popular Super Bowl foods, how to make them, even though we both probably don't know. And True. we'll get going. Yeah. All right. And another very popular food, pair of foods, is wings and pizza. So Always. important step to make this. Get your phone and order it because nobody makes homemade pizza and wings. Hello? Hi, yes, this is John Allen. I like to uh, do little drinks. I mean, I don't know how accurate this is, but Gatorade. Gatorade. Uh, and you can pour it into whatever glass you want. Drop. Listen to it. Listen to it. Feel it. No, you don't know. You don't need to do that. But you do <laughs> want to listen to your Gatorade. Last year's food stats. So these are 2019 Super Bowl food stats. All right. So last year, 1.3 billion wings were eaten. All right, that's a lot of wings. Are you gonna? How many wings did you think you ate? Hey. No idea. Yeah, I don't know either. I had like five probably. Uh, two million pizzas were consumed. Probably had a couple. So thousand. many pizzas. Just in the one night. Good stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we can't read that one. Oh, yep, yeah, nope. $58.4 million dollars worth of avocados. We don't have that kind of stuff to make guacamole, we so don't. nope, not gonna happen. So no avocados for us. 10 million pounds of ribs. Pretty good. Ribs. Pretty good stuff. Hopefully not human ribs. That'd be disgusting. That would be really weird. 227 <clears throat> million dollars worth of potato chips. 88 million pounds of cheese. For queso, we would make it, but we have no idea how to, and we don't want to. Hey, you know what? This has gone on for too long, and I'm already upset about it. So you know what? Let's go on to weather. You missed. There will be snow showers today, and there is a high of 29 and a low of 31. Wednesday will have sun and a high of 28 and a low of 8. It will be mostly dry throughout the day. Thursday will have some more cloud coverage with a high of 31 and a low of 18. Friday will have more clouds and a high of 37 with a low of 26. Saturday and Sunday will have snow showers with a high in the upper 30s. I'm Amber with your weather. Oh, dude, I'm so happy that the Seahawks are in the Super Bowl. They're, they're, 
The, yeah, yeah, the, no, dude, look, I got that Seahawks thing, whatever this is, Seahawks towel, a Seahawks hat, another Seahawks hat, another Seahawks hat, oh, my hair's messed up, I got not one, not two, not three, but four Seahawks jerseys, man, let's go. Luke, the Seahawks aren't even in the Super Bowl. It feels like last year's Super Bowl, man. That was so boring. This is just like it. All right, halftime. What do you want to do? Halftime. Syracuse will play at 7 against Clemson tonight in another ACC matchup and will put their five-game winning streak on the line. In upcoming games, the boys' basketball team will play at Fulton at 6.30 and the girls' basketball team will play home against Fulton at 6.45. Go out and support the Spartans. I would just like to apologize for any young viewers watching John try to dance like Shakira. And I would like to say you are very welcome to all for being able to witness that. Listen, it's been a while since uh, we've done an embarrassing show, and frankly, I don't just I don't care what you think anymore, because I've moved on. Well, good job, Luke. Proud of you. Uh, but before we go, we know that a lot of you probably don't like football, but you may still go to a party, cause parties. And if your and if your party doesn't have a little gambling, then what are you gonna do besides eat food and watch commercials? So you can print one of these gambling sheets, Somewhere. and uh, how it works is the numbers will go in the boxes and they represent the last digit of the score for the team they're under. And then the board is divided, so each person has a couple of spaces, and uh, whatever the score falls under, uh, the person who is under those uh, last digits gets the money. And with that, we will leave you there. Have a great day, Spartans, and enjoy the Super Bowl. In five more days. Go Chiefs.